What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. First thing to note, no face cam today. For those of you that have been watching the streams and follow me on social media, you will know that my eye right now is pretty goddamn manky and I just don't want to show it, honestly. Um, if you follow me on, uh, on Instagram, you'll see the manky nose, not the manky nose, sorry, the manky eye. I'm saying a manky nose because I'm just wiping my nose at the same time. Because I'm actually ill, like, which is why I think that I is a bit mankier than, uh, than normal. So, um, no face cam for today. Um, I've taken it upon myself, guys, to just skip a whole bunch of crap. And the reason why I've done that is because I'm way behind on videos. I've st I still had two videos worth of uh, Foot Champs gameplay, three videos worth of Division 1 gameplay, one video of... Um, of SBCs, mainly the marquee matchups, in fact, only the marquee matchups, and one video, uh, sorry, and then the live streams of me playing games. Um, so I basically still had like a week's worth of content, and the reason why I need to skip it is because if I uploaded that week's worth of content, by the time we get to the end of it, we're going to have missed this week's um, rewards next week's rewards and this week's foot champs gameplay which is just not okay so what i thought i'd do is i thought i'd skip to where we are now i'm gonna leave a link in the description to the three live streams that i've done so if you want to see how i came to get anything or do anything um you'll see it on the live stream because most of the important stuff was actually done on live stream most of the non-important stuff is just the gameplay that was all done off live stream so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you basically the club i'm going to show you who i've bought who i've sold how I, like how how i've managed to afford it and stuff just so that you know there's nothing on towards even though again it, it was all done on live stream but i know there's some people that still question whether or not it's legitimate but if you want to see anything, any trading, any transactions, any buying or any selling, it will all be in the past broadcast, which will be linked in the comment section below. Um, I'm going to show you the team, the teams, the teams that I'm going to be using this weekend league and the team that I'm going to be using for next weekend league because we bought one of those as well. I'll show you the club. I'll show you um, like where we're at with coins, what we've got just going on and what I plan to do in the future. And um, then that'll be that for today. So basically not like essentially a club tour slash squad builder video. Uh, so first things first, um, I picked up Neymar. I bought Neymar for 330,000 coins. I bought him a while back. Uh, as you can see, I've played 20 games with him. Five goals, four assists. It doesn't look the best, right? Like I enjoy playing with him, but it doesn't look the best. Uh, you know, for the amount of coins that you pay for him, 330,000 coins... He's probably less now, isn't he? There was one there for 330 straight away. Um, he'll definitely go up in value next weekend league. Oh, he's still about the same. He'll definitely go up in value next weekend league because uh, it's La Liga or Bundesliga only next weekend league. And of course, we have this Luis Suarez who I've now played 41 games with, 19 goals, 7 assists. These, these stats are a little bit meh, but again, that's because he actually, first and foremost, he, he played a lot of games as a sub in when I first got him. Uh, in the last video, I picked him up, but I played with him in that weekend league, probably about 15 games, 18 games as a sub, where he only scored about three or four goals. So since then, he's actually done all right. Um, but also, in my quest to be a better, more prominent, uh, you know, efficient FIFA player, I'm subbing him off when needs be. The same with Eden Hazard. You know, normally I'll keep my favourite players on the field because I'm like, yeah, you know, screw the rules. Let me, you know, let me do what I want to do and try and win. Um, but in in some instances, it's just more beneficial to sub people off. So there's uh, th there's the two players that everyone wants to see. I'll also show player stats throughout this uh, throughout this video, like uh, in in detail as well. We'll go into the the player the squad screen. And we'll show everything. Um, the team that you're seeing on the screen right now is the team I'm going to be starting with in Foot Champs. I managed to win Division 1 twice with this team and held it once, even though during holding it, we only lost one game in the eight that we played. I just unfortunately drew three games. Um, so we got four, four, three, and one. Um, so uh, with that being said, um, this is the team that I'm going to start with. Now, first things first, Hazard off Chem, not a bother. Uh, you know, 749 games in the club now. A lot of people, in fact, we talked about it last video. People said, why was I happy to play Hazard at 7 chem on striker, but not as 7 chem at right forward? Well, 
I've been playing with Hazard 7 chem right forward a lot recently and he's doing a great job. There is no problem with using him out there. I, I love this card. I love this attack line, actually. Super high rated, four star skills minimum for everyone, four star weak foot minimum for everyone, you know, five star, five star, four star, four star, and four star, four star. Um, and just in general, a fantastic trio. In midfield, I do have Fernandinho because he links to Neymar, but I do believe Fernandinho to be an amazing player. Medium high work rates, which is great, five foot nine, which is fantastic. And when you compare him to Kante's stats, He's got two less pace than Kante and one less physical, but same defending, better dribbling, better passing, better shooting. So when you compare them really, Kante being 5'7", 3-star, 3-star, and Fernandinho being 5'9", 4-star, 3-star, tell me why Fernandinho above Kante. Kante literally has two more pace points and one more physical, and that is, and he's, he's you know, same defending and then less in shooting, passing, and dribbling. So theoretically anyway... Fernandinho is arguably the better player. So I play Fernandinho here on the left centre mid. I play Douglas uh, Diego Costa in the centre centre mid. I love him. Uh, I think uh, think he, he's a phenomenal centre midfielder. He's so tall, really physical, fantastic shooting. Passing typically tends to be uh, unimportant in this game anyway. So I don't mind using him there. And uh, as you can see, nearly 400 games I've enjoyed him. Uh, and then last but not least, Deli Ali. We've got 57 games with him. His return's not great. Um, I'm not sold on him yet. I get a lot of people ask me, how how does he play? Is he worth getting? I mean, for as cheap as you can get him, which is about 100,000, maybe 80,000 coins, depending on whether or not you've got the MK Dons players as well, you can get it for much, much cheaper. But um, typically speaking, this Deli Alley card is decent. What are his pros? He's six foot two, which is amazing. Um, and he's got three star skill moves, which is good. What are his cons? He's pretty clunky on the ball. He's pretty heavy. He only has four star, sorry, three star weak foot, um, and his defending stats aren't great. So as you can see, I've got a shadow on him. So you're probably thinking, why have I only scored nine goals and got 13 assists with Deli Alley? Well, mainly because for my player instructions, I set all three of my midfielders to stay back while attacking. So even though Costa and Ali have high attacking work rates, I'm I'm trying to tell them, hey dude, stay back, don't go forwards, which does have an impact on them for sure. Um, I've given Deli Ali a shadow because with a shadow card he gets like 90 pace and 81 defending. It put, makes him a club 80 player. But his card stats are, are amazing. People said to me I should uh, use the um, the purple Rooney instead. Uh, the reason why I sold the purple Rooney is because, as you can see here with the stats, Deli Ali has way more pace, a little less shooting, and a little less passing, better dribbling, better defending, and a little less physical. And he is way taller. So I, I've, I feel like the 300,000 coins that you're going to pay for Rooney versus the 100,000 coins you're going to pay for Deli Alley, I feel like this is the way forward. Now, for the last few weeks, I've done bad in foot champs and I've been trying to figure out what the problem was. And the biggest problem was I wasn't playing with players I just enjoy playing with. Um, I, I know I've got two high attacking work rate midfielders in here. I know I've got two fullbacks with high attacking work rates. And you might think, wow, that's going to cause you problems. But it isn't. I played in, as I say, in Division 1. I won it back-to-back -back times on this account. Um, I won it 8-0 and on my main account playing with teams that I enjoyed, but that's, that doesn't really make any difference. But with this team, I played a couple of the top 100 players in the world, and I won and drew, and then I narrowly lost. So even playing with this team against top 100, and not, not like, oh, he was in top 100 one time once. I mean people that are in a top 100 every single week all the time, and I'll, I'll even show you their accounts and how we fared against them. But um, this is the team that I'm going to start with in foot champs. Uh, obviously, that defense for me is just perfect. What I'm going to do with the center backs is when they're tired, I'm just going to rotate them with Bai. So, it, you know, if Smalling, like right now, Smalling's on 90 fitness, so Bai will go in. Once that next game is over, Smalling will come back in for either Reed or Bai, depending on who has the least fitness. So, I won't need to use fitness cards this weekend league for the center backs, uh, which is fantastic news. Um, on the left back, I am going to use Marcos Alonso the whole time because he's just great. And then for right back, I am going to switch between Seamus Coleman and Hector Bellerin. Um, I, you know, I've got the two players that I don't, I won't notice the difference too much. That's what's going to happen in the attack. Now I've got some choices in attack. Uh, obviously, first of all, it's going to be Ibra swapping for Suarez, and it's going to be Theo Walcott swapping for Eden Hazard. I am unsure as to whether or not I want to use the red Walcott or the orange Walcott. If, if orange Walcott's price goes up over 250,000 coins, I'm going to sell him and use a red one. 
If not, as you can see there, he's got 45 goal contributions in 50 games. Uh, some of those used as a sub and some of those taken off for a sub. So I think that's a good return. And then I'm unsure as to whether I want to use Son or Arnautovic at left forward. They both have pros and cons. Arnautovic has four star, four star. He's six foot tall. And with a hunter card, when I can get one for him, he would be amazing. He would be an amazing centre forward. Sorry, uh, left forward. Uh, but Son is tried and tested. You know, 637 games, 300 goals, 150 assists. That's a brilliant goal return ratio. Again, due to the fact that I would say at least 300 of those games are as a substitute. So, you know, I, I, like, but basically, bottom line is we could put Son up here, and then in the midfield it will be um, it will be Fernandinho for Chan. It will be Costa for Chadley, and then it will be Deli Ali for either. Uh, Roberto Firmino or Kante, depending on how I'm feeling and how I'm playing. Um, you know, I don't mind putting uh, Firmino in there because high attacking work great for Firmino, then medium, medium, and medium, medium for Chan and Chadley. Um, and, and again, it just it's a midfield that I've enjoyed. I've played a lot of games with Firmino already, 127, uh, mo most as a sub, but he's got a great card, like a really good card. So this will be basically team two um, it, it for, for this weekend league. Moving on to next weekend league, guys. I want to show you some of the players that I've bought. Um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a solid team. It is a solid team, and there is the players that I bought. So we're going to be obviously using Neymar and Suarez again uh, because it's La Liga or Bundesliga only. I went and bought Gareth Bale. I was surprised at how cheap he was. Five hundred and sorry, three hundred and twenty thousand coins for Gareth Bale. So we went and picked him up with the hunter card already and at right forward already. Uh, played a few games with him as a sub, but I don't I haven't really done much with him. Uh, after this weekend league, I'll play with this team instead in Division 1 to try and figure out uh, if I'm going to be good or not. Um, I went and bought Vidal, a little bit expensive, 81,500 coins with a shadow card as well, which is nice. I've got that Kovacic that I bought before, uh, you know, 40,000 coins we paid for him. He's worth about 25k now, but um, I'll be happy to use him. And uh, I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll find the right chem style for him. We'll, we'll play with him in this weekend league. It'll be great. And then for me, one of the stars of the show is going to be a borrower. Uh, you know, four star weak foot, medium, medium, six foot five, an absolutely disgusting card. If he gets an upgrade as well, a winter upgrade, which is not off the cards, um, he could become an 87 or 88 rated player, and he could just be just crazy good. So we're using that as a centre midfield. Uh, when I got Alaba for left back, 70,000 coins, again, quite expensive. And uh, Jerome Boateng for 130,000 coins, again, quite expensive, but much needed uh, to put in the team. We'll be using our Red Martinez, 5'11", medium, medium work rates. We'll, we'll try him out in Division 1. As long as he's not, like, you know, court short, I'll use him. And then we'll use Juan Fran at right back. Fantastic card. Glad, glad I'm going to be able to use him properly now. And then on the bench, we've just got a whole bunch of randoms. Renato Sanchez there, the red Montoya, who, you know, you could argue you might want to use instead of Juan Fran. Juan Fran's got a little less pace, but he's better everywhere else. But not better to the point where it's like, whoa, that's crazy. He's better to the point where it's like, okay, so he's a little bit better. So depending on, I could just swap, you know, swap between the two right backs to save on fitness cards. But this team is probably going to require fitness throughout the whole weekend because I don't have a second string team. Whether or not I get a second string team here or not will depend on our rewards that come out on Thursday. If uh, if the rewards are good and we can afford something amazing, then I'll go ahead and get that. If the rewards are bad and we can't afford anything amazing, then that's too damn bad. You can see my record now, guys. 855 wins, 276 losses. Um, I'm really happy with that record. Really happy. The goalkeeper on this team as well, by the way, guys, is going to be um, either Neuer team of the group stage Farman or Leno depending again on the coins that I can accumulate between now and when I actually need the team because I'll have two weekend leagues worth of rewards thrown in there uh, before we actually have to play with this team so I should be good um, in terms of the transfer market guys what I've sold so I sold uh, Ericsson for 285 I bought him for 255 so a little bit of profit on him I sold Gray for 79,000 I bought him for 71,000 so again a little bit of profit on him and I sold Son for 275 I believe I bought him for 230 or 225 so a bit of profit on him. And I sold this Son card because, well, stats are bugged. Is that going to be the same for all of them? Yeah, it is. That's pretty crazy. Um, I sold the Son card because the 83 Son is just as good. Like, the fact that I'm using Ibra and Suarez up front, this striker Son is never going to get a look in as a striker. Um, as you can see as well, I've got a lot of silvers on this bench. Um, sorry, on this trade pile. They are there simply because I opened a whole bunch of those silver player packs 
I was glad I did because I got I, I made some money off of it, but I've stacked my club up with silver cards that are undoubtedly going to be useful to us at one stage or another, uh, you know, somewhere down the line. So that's the uh, transfer list right now. That's the two teams that I'll be using this weekend league and next weekend league. Uh, let me show you my Division 1 um, status right now. So we did win the last Division 1 title. You can see there I've got 25 seasons and 15 titles. Uh, we've got 136 wins and 42 losses. Um, I did change my gamer tag as well. You might have uh, you might have seen it there. And um, I'll show you guys the um, I'll show you guys the actual Div One titles trophies here. So our trophies look like this: uh, World Tour, World Tour, World Tour. Uh, the offline trophies, of course, and then for the online trophies, we've got Division Ten. We've won it once. Daily Knockout. We've won it once. Division 9 once, Division 8 once, Daily Knockout once, a different Daily Knockout tournament obviously, another Daily Knockout tournament once, another Daily Knockout tournament once, Division 7 once, and two more Daily Knockout tournaments just the one time only. Next up we go to the next page, another Daily Knockout and another Daily Knockout, Division 6 once, Division 5 once, Division 4 once, another Daily Knockout, Division 3 once, Division 2 we've won four times because we have been relegated three times, so we've got three, sorry, four Division 2 titles, um, which not too bad, I suppose. We first won it in December 2016, so a couple months ago. Uh, another four times we won that daily knockout tournament. I don't know why I tried to do that one four times, but we did. And two times for that daily knockout tournament, it must have had a pack. Another daily knockout, another daily knockout, three times. Another one, two times. Division one, there you go. Three division one titles we've got, guys. Um, two times for this daily knockout, and three times for that daily knockout. So there are there are our trophies. Uh, when we look into the actual club. Um, I've got, I've got some, I've still got some players, you know, some sellables. Uh, we've got Theo Walcott, which if his price goes up, I'll sell him. Salah, I've lost a lot of money on. I bought him for 260. He's now worth 160. I'm hoping for potentially an upgrade, or if not an upgrade, uh, you know, maybe in three weeks it'll be a Calcio A team and Salah might become useful again. But his card's really, really good anyway. That I'm not really too bothered to hold on to him for now. You know, I could eventually sell him when I need to. Uh, of course, I bought the Ebola card for 50k. Um, I packed Falcao from the marquee matchups rewards, which was great. Uh, he's not worth anything, but as an 86 rated inform, he could be useful to us somewhere down the line. We have, of course, bought Florenzi. He's still worth about 150 to 160k. Um, so again, you know, just some nice assets to sit in there. But again, I might need him at one point. Um, I'm happy to keep Salah because I've got Red and Golan and Florenzi. So that right hand side is just really strong. Uh, Cater, of course, we packed from our rewards. Um, Castro, I also packed from Marquee Matchups. Got really lucky in the Marquee Matchups. Um, Marcano was from our rewards from a while back. Uh, Kovacic we bought. Ayu, I packed in one of the Suarez packs, I believe. You would have seen that pack anyway. Same with Thalvin, Tillemans, and Balde, Jao. We packed all of them. And Depay, you guys know I bought. Um, I bought Depay. I was hoping to get an inform this week, but I don't think that's happening. Um, you can see already though his price has gone up a little bit marginally. I bought him for 45k. I'm still going to just hang on to him and hope that eventually uh, I make some money on him. Uh, Gooden there and Connolly were packed from Bronze Pack Method as was Davies. We bought Neymar Boateng and now we look at some stats of some big players there guys. So De Gea 510 games. Um, Chris Smalling still yet to get a red card for me in 745 games. Uh, Jeremy Tulalan is useless to us. Eric Bailly approaching that 300 game mark. Uh, and then the rest of these guys, I mean, we have got some games with Fekir, but the rest of these guys just not very um, not very used. I don't actually use any of these. So the, this, is, this is my club. My club's pretty bare, guys. We don't have much available in terms of like the assets here, the cash value here. The club is pretty bare. Uh, we then move on to the consumables. I've got a lot of consumables. I did, I did clean a lot of it out. Um, training, I sold all the silver training cards. We've just got the usable training cards, which again, I'll start using again this weekend league. Try and get through all of those. Position modifiers, I saved myself one of everything, unless it's worth nothing. These, these are worth nothing, but I saved it just in case I ever need it. Uh, but yeah, saved myself one of everything through those. And again, this is worth nothing, so uh, I just saved it. Chemistry styles, again, I saved myself one of everything. I sold the rest, and I sold all of this on stream. So again, if you want to see that, it's all on those uh, past broadcasts down below. Manager leagues, very much the same. Contracts. We've got a lot of contracts. I need to sell these gold contracts. There's about fifty to sixty thousand coins of the shiny contracts there. There are the non-shiny contracts. I'll, I'll keep and use, but for the shiny contracts, I need to get rid of them. I just need to stop being lazy and get rid of them. And in fitness cards, we still got. I, I, I sold a whole bunch of them. We still got some to sell. I sold over this weekend league, and then healing cards the same. We still got some to sell. The all injuries sell. The upper body sells. 
the leg cells and the foot cells. So we will sell those throughout this weekend league. Uh, when we go back to the players, guys, um, we go to special. Again, we look at the, the stats of the players. Theo Walcott, as you would have seen, 50, goal, 50 games there. Salah's done a little bit, but not really a lot. We didn't really play much with him, and most of it is as a sub. Um, but the, the, real, the real special cards you want to see are going to be these guys. So, Suarez, 41 games, 19 goals, not amazing. Ibrahimovic, I love this card. For me, this is my favorite striker in the game this year. 207 games, 135 goals, and 88 assists, which is amazing. Hazard has 749 goals, and I believe he's got 750, if my math is correct, 750 goal contributions. So he still, even after 750 games, he still averages one goal contribution per game, which might not sound amazing, but again, I, I sub him off in a lot of games. I think that's a fantastic return, considering how much of that is foot champs in D1. Buffon, 31 games, uh, Costa, 377 games, Almost identical goals and assists there, 69-68. Uh, Jonas, 74, four games, not really that important. Lacazette, it's a shame that I can't really fit him into teams these days because he is one of those strikers that I absolutely love. Uh, Giovinco, nearly 100 games for me, but again, just we used him a lot earlier on in the series. We don't really use him too much now. Samuel Eto'o and Gignac, not really that, uh, that important to us. Uh, Nengolan's got a fair few things for us. 127 games there for Nengolan. Uh, Silver, no games. This Draxler card we played a bit. Uh, I know some people wanted me to sell this because his price went up due to the, him having a good game for PSG uh, against Barcelona. But um, Champions League games don't count anyway. And even if they did, I couldn't sell him because he's untradeable for me. And we also have the red version of Julian Draxler as well. Uh, Seamus Coleman is great. I really like Seamus Coleman. Um, Arnautovic has been good so far. De Rossi's done not too bad. Juan Fran's done not too bad. Insigne's done not too bad. If you guys want to see these... Uh, these stats like perfectly then just pause uh, pause where you are basically where you want to look um, so channel Noglu yet to play for us Kalinic there yet to play for us Deli Ali has got 57 games already for me and as I say he's done not bad he has done not bad he could be a little bit better I'm hoping to try and find my groove with him correctly uh, Raheem Sterling again considering I can't believe he's actually played 500 games almost considering how little I use him and how he's just usually used as an impact sub. He's got a fantastic return. Uh, Theo Walcott as well, 462 games. Obviously, we've got 50 games on the, the orange Walcott as well. I might just go back to the red Walcott. I don't know it's too much of a difference there. David Villa doesn't really uh, see the light of day, um, nor do a lot of these guys. Firmino, they're 127. And then the rest of those dudes don't really see the light of day either. Uh, Dario Cerna's played a few games for us. Kazawa a few games. Um, Fernandinho, as I showed before, I find to be brilliant. Smolov doesn't really see the light of day. Reed, fantastic player, 91 games. I had over 300 games on his inform as well before I had to get rid of it because we got the red one. Gareth Barry, 220 games. Hyung Min Son, 637 games. Uh, we've got a few games with Depay as well, 70 games there, mostly as a sub. Emre Chan coming up to his 400th game for the club. Pretty good return for him. Uh, Alonso there as well, 77 games already. We did play a few games with the red Deli Alley, but of course then we got the player of the month, Deli Alley. And uh, then it just goes down to the players that we don't really use too much. Mane, 63 games. Uh, Balassi, 68 games. Chadley has up to 211 games. He's been good for us. Bellerin, 359 games. Uh, Yota there with, uh, with two games. Marcus Rashford, one of the absolute worst SBCs I've ever done. 41 games, 14 goals. It's just horrendous. The dude is just horrendous. Um, I don't think we play with uh, any more of these dudes here. We played a fair few games with Jensen, 39 games. He, he was a good CDM. I really enjoyed him. Um, and the rest of these guys, Alex Hunt adds a few games. But that is it, guys. That is the, uh, that is the club basically as is. So a lot, of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff happened. But like I say, if you want to see it, if you want to check out what it was that happened, um, just go check out those past broadcasts linked in the description below. Um, I, I had to just, I had to do this. I had to cut a lot of the crap out. As I say, otherwise I would have just been lost. You know, I, I would, like today I would have been showing you games that I was playing on Saturday. Tomorrow you would have got games from Sunday. You literally wouldn't have got this week's rewards until Monday or Tuesday of next week, which would have been after a brand new Foot Champions Weekend League, which just wouldn't have been good enough. So I wanted to get get ahead. So the plan now is, you'll see this video today. You'll see the rewards tomorrow. You'll see the first batch of champion, uh, foot champions games on Friday, and then we'll be ahead, you know, or we'll be on on task. We won't be ahead, but we won't be behind like we are now. 
So if you've got any questions about anything, how did I do anything, how did I afford anything, what did I sell, how did I sell it, where did I sell it, um, just let me know in the comment section below, guys, and I'll, I'll make sure to get you guys the 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 where it happened or if if it's on you know if it's on stream how it happened. But this, guys, is going to be the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.